of that they came to hear you please speak to us now we pray in Jesus name amen, amen. For the next few minutes that they have allotted me, we will turn our attention to perhaps one of the most interesting stories in the Bible that I entitled Sex, Savior, and Salvation. You know, for most people, those three things don't go together. Amen. Mm -hmm. Especially on a Friday night. <laughs> Why you laugh? You know something I don't know? Oh, I know, the Savior part and the salvation part are okay on a Friday night. Got you, got you, got you, got you. I want to start with a <laughs> John. John chapter 8, verse 1. And I, I want you to notice this is the opening verse for the chapter, verse 1. It reads, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. That was verse 1. Now, every English teacher under the tent will tell you something wrong with this sentence. Am I right? Number one, you can't start the sentence with but. Number two, worse, you can't start a chapter. Not even a paragraph. The whole chapter is started with but. So that tells me something was going on before. Amen? So for you to understand what's coming after verse 1, you have to understand what was going on before. Yeah. Now Are we together? So I, I decide to go, go up the road to peep what was happening before in chapter 7. Fascinating stuff. Here's the background. This is chapter 7, verse 1. It says, Help me read. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he did not want to walk in Judea. Why? Because the Jews sought to do what? Ah. So verse, so chapter 7 sets the background to chapter 8. Are we still together? In chapter 7, Jesus decides, you know, I, I am not going through 
I'm not going through Judea like certain part of Portmore. <laughs> I can't walk through certain part of Portmore. Amen? So we go around. So they want, Jesus said, I ain't going through Judea. I'm going to go through Ju Ju Galilee now because the Jews was trying to kill him. Okay? No, this is serious. I, I'm in verse 19. So one day Ju Jesus confronted them about this conspiracy they have to kill him. And Jesus says to them, did not Moses give you the law? Yet none of you keep this law. Why do you seek to kill me? Why you want me dead? That was verse 19. You want to hear how they responded? Verse 20. Verse 20. The people answered and said, you have a demon inside of you. Who is trying to kill you? Ha! Huh? Because of. Oh, you didn't know Jesus get involved in those things. Oh, man. The, you, the people answered, you have a demon, meaning you are the devil yourself. Who is trying to kill you? So there was this big argument. And so the whole of chapter 7 is surrounding their conspiracy to try and kill Jesus. Is the church with me? Yes, yes stay with me because we're going somewhere. This was taking place at the, at the Feast of the Tabernacles, and they had a big controversy over who Jesus is and whether they should kill him or not. And the, the feast ended with the controversy taking place, and so they split up. So the Pharisees and the scribe go home to the people, and the text says, but Jesus went to Mount Olivet. Is the church with me? They gone home to their yard, but Jesus went to Mount Olivet. And normally when he goes Mount Olivet, he goes up there to do what? Pray. To pray, precisely. Now that you get it. So now I'm going to continue verse 2. Now that you get the background. Are you ready for verse 2? Verse 2. Now early in the morning, when, when, when Bible gives you details, you have to pay attention to it because they are important. Oh, well, the text says, now early in the morning, he came into the, Jesus, he came into the temple and help me read the text, man, and all the people came to him and he sat down and taught them. Where? In the temple. What's another name for temple? In the church. I ask you the preacher. How many people are in church? All. What time of morning? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to Portmore people. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning, church full. Try it in Portmore as you up. All 10 o'clock people just a draw themselves. In fact, nowadays people don't even come 10, they come 11. Watch the clock, and by 12, they're gone. Early in the morning, all the people was at, were at church. Church full, y'all. Amen? So you realize you're not saying nothing. Yeah, I, I had to throw that one out. And by the way, my church members in Ebenezer are listening to me. That one is for you too. <laughs> I had to get people come church early. You know, church is the only place they feel comfortable coming late. You notice that? It's a, no, just, just think about it. That's the only place they feel comfortable coming late. Pastor Kent would say, if I catch, I catch. So, something wrong with that picture. Anyway, that's not the sermon. Let me go on. So church full, and Jesus is teaching. Are you with me? Inside the church. And the text says, 
Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, <laughs> so watch this. So church full, everybody is engrafted in the, in the lesson Jesus being taught. Amen. You could hear a pin drop. And then all of a sudden there was a commotion right down on the back door. Yes, everybody stop and look around. When they look, coming up the aisle, Pharisees, and scribes dragging this poor woman who don't want to go. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragging her, dragging her up the line, up the aisle, dragging her, dragging the poor woman fight the one, and they're dragging her. And people wondering, what on God's earth is happening? Some people will be wondering, maybe this is a sick woman and they are carrying her to Jesus to get healing. Because the last time something happened like that, they pulled the roof. Are you with me? So something must be urgent because if it is not urgent, why would they not wait till service finish? Amen. So this got, <laughs> this got to be very urgent, life-saving matter. So, so, they, dra <laughs> so they dragged the woman the poor woman up the aisle and everybody stop and turn around and the text says and they set her in I tell you look at details and they set her in the midst meaning they put her in the middle of the church I'm glad they did but the purpose they, the reason they did it yes yes is to bring the greatest embarrassment on her uh huh. And they set her in the middle. And the poor woman trembling. <laughs> and everybody in the church wondering what's going on? What is the case? Because they're not asking for healing. So they listen. So they listen. So listen. So then this, they said to Jesus, the Pharisees, with, with, with grin on their face. Delight, almost orgasmic delight on their face. They said to Jesus, teacher. <laughs> you see this woman that we bring come? This woman was caught in adultery. So I want to know, that's why you mash up church? And before Jesus could say anything, they said, by the way, this is not a rumor. This is not conspiracy. <laughs> oh, Lord. They, 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 they are so proud of their evidence, empirical evidence, irrefutable evidence. We caught her in the very act. And the poor woman can't say nothing. Is the church with me? Because she's surrounded by Pharisees and scribes. These are the creme de la creme of church leadership. Is the church with me? So, so, so before Jesus, before they get any further, I looked at it. I'm sorry, you see, from a legal perspective. Yeah, my legal cap kicked in. And something that looked too right to me. Ah. Here, 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 here. Follow me, follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me. If you caught her in the act, then you must have seen the other person too. 
Amen. Can I speak like a Jamaican? Where the man day? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You cannot charge her with the crime of adultery if she's alone. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. For adultery to be meted out, you need at least two. You can't charge a man with conspiracy if he's alone. He has to have somebody to conspire with. Are you with me? You can't charge her alone if she's alone. You can charge her with... <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> It can't be adultery. So if you catch her in the act, you must have seen the man. And by the way, by the way, by the way, what time of morning this was? <laughs> Were you doing in people's house them early morning, you Pharisees? Obviously, they were not at church. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They, 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 <laughs> Mr. President, they were not at church. They were looking for adulterers in a people's house. Pharisees! So, <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. So, <laughs> So, I, so, so we want, before we leave here tonight, we want to know where is the man? Is it, is it possible that he is connected? Or maybe it is one of you? Amen? Where, where, where is the man? How is it that there are two people involved in this crime, but only one is guilty? How is it, how is it, how is it that she's the only one going to be punished? She's the only one going to have to face justice. She's the only one going to die. She's the only one going to be stoned to death. How is it, how is it, how is it? And by the way, this is where I pause a little and talk. Can I talk to the ladies tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me, let me do some straight talk. Let me do some straight talk. Let me do some straight talk. Hey, hey. Ladies, in the name of Jesus, here's a warning. Think twice before you lay down. Can I repeat that for you? Think both young and old. Think twice before you what? Lay down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because when the few little minutes of pleasure are over, it's you the crowd coming for. Are you hearing me? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is you the crowd will see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is you who have the crosses and the tribulation for the rest of your life. Think twice. It's your mental uh, menstrual cycle going to stop in a few days. It's your belly going to be produce, uh, produ producing in the church with me. It is you. It is your skin going to stretch and your body disfigure. You. You alone. Hey, young lady, is you going to drop out of school? Not him. You have to go to clinic every week. Not him. Is the church with me here? Yeah, yeah, you have to do prenatal check, not him. Hey! And when it's time to come for, for nine months, you have to carry that burden, not him. And when it's time for delivery, it's your life on the line, not his. And when the pain coming, you alone bear it, not him. And when the baby born, every two hours you have to wake up and breastfeed, not him. It's you. You and you and you and you think twice. Few minutes of pleasure. In some cases, it doesn't last a minute. 
and you have a lifetime of sorrows. Think twice. See, see, God, God was wise when he put sex within the confine of marriage. He was very wise. Understand the preacher. Men go in relationship primarily for sexual fulfillment. Women go in relationship primarily for emotional fulfillment and for emotional security. Are you with me? No matter amount of sex a woman gets will never give her security. Security comes when he comes to the altar and take a pledge before men and all these persons here present to witness that you decide to live together for the rest of your life. I would together and you sign it. In a marriage, when, marri when you get married, that's when security comes. And the Bible says, get married so the woman can get her security. And when she's secure, she can provide sex so you get your fulfillment. So everybody get everything at marriage. God was right. So they drag her. In front of Jesus. And, and, and by the way, these, these, you see that grin on your face? <laughs> Pharisees are happy when they catch church members doing wrong. They are delighted because it makes them look good. So they dragged this woman in front of Jesus. And, and, and they said, they said, Lord, help us in the church. They said, they said, um, they said, teacher, we just want to let you know. Um, Moses in the law commanded us that we should, that, that such, such, see this word? Demeaning. Moses in the law commanded that such should be stone. But what do you say? Oh, let me, can I translate that for you? Yeah, yeah. Teacher, we just want to let you know that um, we are familiar with the church manual. Church, <laughs> church manual says, she should be disfellowship. Church manual says she should be exterminated. Church manual say we should kick her out of church. We're familiar with the church manual, but we just stop by to hear what you say. Hallelujah. Ha! I, you, you, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. And, and by the way, I looked at the thing and, and I said, Mr. President, and I said, you know, this should be a practice that the church adopts. What practice? Oh, before we carry the, before we carry the guilty to the town square and stone them to death, we perhaps should check with Jesus first. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, hey, hey. Before we go church board, we probably should check what Jesus have to say. Hey, before we throw them out, we probably should hear what Jesus have to say. Before we go to the conference committee, we need to stop by you. Lord, what do you have to say? The working policy says such, but what do you say? It's a good, healthy practice if the church stopped by Jesus before it takes action at the board. Let me repeat that for you. What a wonderful... Do you know how many members we would have saved 
if we stop by Jesus before we throw them, we start throwing stones. Think about it. We, we, know, we know the manual. We, we, we just hear what you have to say. <laughs> Lord, help us in the church. I, I should stay here. <laughs> Lord, what's your view? What is your view? What, what do you think we should do here? See, I, 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 wish, I, I wish I could send a little message to the trembling woman. Because she, cause she's trembling here. Hey, hey, hey. Hang on, hang on. Stay with me. Because if, if you ever make a mistake, the worst person you want to catch you is a Pharisee. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 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 modern, a lot of modern day Pharisees in the church, you know. Yeah, 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 a whole lot of them. And so she's sure she's dead. She, she's very sure that she's dead. So she, she's there trembling in the church with me. But I would love to send a little, if I could text her. If I could send a note to her. I, I would have said, I would have said, hey, I would have said, little lady. Um, don't worry. Every little thing gonna be all right because the safest place for a sinner is in the presence of her say hey every little thing i'm gonna send a message lady don't worry they intended it for evil but god gonna turn it around for good hey little lady don't worry they don't know what they have just done hallelujah They, they made a mistake to bring a sinner to the Savior, to expect the Savior to condemn the sinner. What kind of madness is this? They didn't know that Jesus said, hey, the reason why I came is to save people like her. Amen. So hear me, hear me, hear me. Hey, hey, if you ever hear that this preacher gets himself in trouble, don't take me to the church board. Take me to Jesus. Don't take me to the conference committee. Take me to Jesus! Take me to Jesus. Carry me, to, hey, hey, carry me, put a rope around my neck, drag me to Jesus, throw me down in front of him, and say, Lord, what do you say? And Jesus will say, my grace. Ha! Jesus will say, my grace is sufficient. Jesus will say, where this man sin, hey, my grace much more abound. Jesus will say, this man can't out sin my grace. Take me to Jesus. Sometimes we reach church board before we reach Jesus. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, so they say, what do you say? And by the way, here's the, here's the next verse. Here's a nice verse. Here's a nice verse. Verse 6. This they said, testing Jesus, that they might have something for which to because they had wanted to kill him. Is the church with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're using this woman's situation. Real corrupt leaders. 
ha! using this woman's situation for as bait for their agenda. Is the church with me? No. I, I, you know, I love Jesus. Amen. Yeah. What? What Jesus? What Jesus is master. Jesus is master. What Jesus? The Bible says, but help me read. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger. Read, read, read. As though he didn't hear. <laughs> So, so whoa, 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 watch this, watch this. So, so, so they dragged the woman, church mash up, everybody wondering what's going on. Uh, master, the, uh, uh, teacher, this woman we caught in adultery, uh, we know the church manual says you must stone her to death, but what do you say? And they expect Jesus to say something. Jesus got up and looked on them and read the hypocrisy in their heart and realized that they were worse sinner than the woman in front of him. And without saying a word, he stooped down and he wrote. Is the church with me? And they were offended that Jesus not doing <laughs> that Jesus not paying them no. I don't know am I? So verse seven. So help me read. Help me read. Help me read. So when they what continued asking, meaning what? Yeah, Jesus not Peter. Hey, Jesus, we're talking to you. What you <laughs> what's your position on this matter? Jesus writing. By the way, it's the same finger that wrote, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Is <laughs> writing. And when they bother Jesus, and they bother Jesus. <laughs> The Bible says, the Bible says, then Jesus finally raised himself up and said to them, say, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, say, say, hey, hey, hey. Jesus says, I don't have, hey, watch a preacher. I, I don't have a problem with the church manual. Ah, uh, you don't get it. I don't have a problem with the law of Moses because I am the one who gave Moses that law. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with the law. I don't have a problem with the church manual. Is the church with me? Yes. yes. But then Jesus says, but, but there's one little problem that you guys are overlooking. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, it says, whoever commits adultery must be stoned to death. Yes, that's what the law says, Jesus says. But it never gave the qualification for the stoners. Mm -hmm. In law, in lawyers in this place will understand. In law, we call it the regs, the regulation. For every statute, there has to be a regulation. Is the church with me? The law, the law is broad. The regulation carries the detail. Well, that law is there, but was there no regs? So Jesus says, hey, I have no problem with the law. The problem I have is the qualification for the stoners. What do you mean qualification? Hang on, hang on, because we're in trouble now. We're in trouble, in trouble. Jesus says, I agree that she should be stoned. The problem is the qualification necessary to stone a sinner must be somebody who himself has no sin. Watch it, watch it, watch it, preacher. Because sinner can stones. Hey! Can we talk to some people in the church? Church members, sinner can stones, sinner. Hey, 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 hey. I, I'm, I'm about to suggest something. It's not in Bible, but my sanctified imagination saw it. I'm about, I'm about to suggest to you that in my imagination, I think they came in the church with stones. 
they don't have no Bible. But they have stone. Hey, 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 hey. There are Pharisees in the church with stone. They don't carry Bible, but they carry. Hey, hey, and as soon as you slip, stone coming for you. Don't carry no stone in God's church. Amen. Only one who's qualified to stone, and he's not a stoner. Is the church with me? So Jesus says, if you have anybody in this group who has no sin, you are the first one to show your stone. Watch this. Watch this, watch this. Now the camera shifts and focus on the little woman. Because she's down here trembling. And when she heard Jesus say to these holy men, he who have no sin cast the first stone. She hold her head because she knows stone coming. Is the church with me? Because these Pharisees don't have sin. She, ah, Jesus, she squat down there and she's sure to God stone is coming because the people who caught her are holy men. They don't have sin. So stone is coming and she wait for the stone to land. Moments pass. No stone. Minute pass. No stone. She afraid to look up. She heard, ha, she heard footstep. She heard footstep walking away. And she turned around. Jesus stooped down and wrote again beside her. Still no stone. Is the church with me? Then those who heard it being convicted by their conscience went out one by one, beginning with the wholeness, even to the last. Hang on, hang on. Hey, hey, hey. Oh God, me dead, no, me dead. Stone coming. Cause all these people are Pharisees and scribes. They are righteous people. They're running church. So I'm dead. Then she heard the footstep going away. One by one by one. When she brave enough to look around. Everybody gone. Everybody gone. She was stunned. I wanted to find out why they left. Stay, stay. I was very interested in finding out why the Pharisees left. Brother President, because if the qualification for stoning is a person without then every Pharisee should be throwing stones. I wanted to find out why they left. And the Spirit said to me, go look it up in the spirit of prophecy. Here, here's it, here's it, here's it. Nobody ever asked the question, what did Jesus write? The text only said that he wrote. And when they bother him and bother him, he got up and talked and then he went back down and... What did he write? Ah, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Hey, hey, hey. So, so the leading gang saw Jesus writing. Wonder what him over there writing. So, so he went up to peep over Jesus' shoulder. And what he saw was where he slept last night. Yeah. 
And the other wonder, why the leader gone? Something wrong. And they went over, which woman you are with? And one by one, they saw their sins written on the pavement. Hey, conviction, hold them. They back out with the stone. Jesus was left alone with the woman. Oh, people, help the preacher. Jesus was left alone with the woman in church. That's a good place to be. You and Jesus alone. Amen. When you and Jesus alone, you know salvation taking place. You know transformation taking place. It's a change taking place. Hallelujah. And Jesus got up, looked around and saw a woman, nobody but the woman. And she says, he says, hey, lady, um, where are all your accusers? As if he don't know. Uh, has no one, has no one condemned you? They're, not, they're no longer voting to disfellowship you? They're, not, they're no longer voting? To stone you? Has no, we, 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 where are all the stone throwers? Has no one condemned you? She says, in the looks of Lord. In the looks of. And Jesus looked at her and said, neither do I. Neither do I. What do you mean, Jesus? I know you mess yourself up. I know, yes, sir. I know you got yourself in a mess. But, but neither do I. I'm the only one with the authority to condemn you. Talk to me, and I am dropping the charge. I'm dropping the charge. I, I know this is not your lifestyle. I know this is not how your mama brought you up. I, I know you're not supposed to be in this relationship. I know if you get a second chance, you will make better of your life. In the church with me, I know you just want a breakthrough. Neither do I. Neither do I. Tears flowing down her face because she has escaped certain death that morning. She fell in love with Jesus. I can imagine she embraced Jesus and about to stagger out when Jesus held her by her hand and turned around and says one more thing. One more thing. Don't go back in that situation. Amen. Well, one more thing. You're getting a start over. Is your church with me? You're getting a second chance. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody under this tent deserves a second chance. God says, if you come to me tonight, I'll give you a start over. A second chance in Jesus' name. There are people under this stand blood wash on their way to heaven. Why? Because God gave them a second chance. How many of you can testify? I'm here because God gave me a second chance. I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the peaceful shore. Sinking never to rise. But love lifted me. Second chance. If God gave you a second chance, stand on your feet and sing, I was singing. Second chance. Sinking to rise. 
but the master heard my despairing from the waters. Now say for my sing that song. 